First part of the Complete 540 project is set to open soon. It's going to connect Apex to Garner. While phase two of that project started just a few months ago, some homeowners say it has been impacting them for years. CBS 17's Gilad Malabit is live in Garner with tell, to tell us why that is. Gilad. Yeah, where we're standing along US 70 business is actually going to be part of the next phase of 540 and more than 200 properties are in the path of where that highway will be going. One homeowner I spoke to says that he's been living in limbo for years and finally this week it's the, it seems like things are starting to move forward. 540 won't be complete without passing through. Where you're standing right now. Brenda and David Howell's Southeast Raleigh home, land that's been in Brenda's family for five generations. You get older. You get weaker, things happen. So we like put wider doors in it and other things for the final, final home. Two years after doing that work. The state shows up and says, excuse us, we're gonna put a highway through your front door. And that was 10 years ago. A time filled with uncertainty. Doing maintenance on stuff, you kind of put that on hold, not as much as you'd like to, but you always have to ask yourself, is it worth the expense because Oh, at what time are they going to knock on the door and say, hey, let's sit down and negotiate. We're going to buy your house out now. Phase two of construction will connect where 540 meets I-40 in Garner to where 540 meets I-87 in Nightdale. A Turnpike Authority spokesperson says with a large 10-mile project like this, conversations with property owners begin years in advance. Though Howell is... We live at the proper address here on Aggravation Lane. Aggravated. Just time. How long it's taken. There's now a clearer path forward. He received this letter Thursday with someone to contact to discuss the acquisition process, but he says... Well, it's still a, sim uh, a limbo. Not sure when he'll find the right home to meet the couple's needs, like wheelchair accessibility. Spokesperson for the Turnpike Authority says 223 properties are in the right of way and that letters are going out based on where construction will begin first. We're looking forward to finally being able to go forward and and get this resolved and find another place, get moved and settle down. And hopefully that place will be our final home. The spokesperson says the Turnpike Authority expects to complete the right of way acquisition by late next summer. Construction is set to finish in 2028. Loving Gardner, Gilad Malamed, CBS 17 News. Uh, Gilad, I cannot imagine living 10 years just waiting for the next knock at the door. But I do have a question. Who is actually at risk of having their homes acquired? There's actually an interactive map that shows the direct path of this next phase of 540, and you could zoom in all the way to street level to see where it goes. We have a link to this up on our website, cbs17.com. We also have contact information for people at the Turnpike Authority that you can ask questions to if you think your property might be impacted. All right, aggravation lane, huh? That's a little too appropriate, Eli. Thank you. We appreciate it.